Welcome back everybody and sorry for the weird editing or the weird voiceover that you hear. I just wanted to show and do a commentary on the latest from Harley Davidson. They just released a 120th anniversary video uh, telling what they released for bikes, what they got going on, and everything else uh, with this video that we're going to watch. Uh, and then later on, we're hopefully going to go on to the website, see what they offer for prices and bikes and everything. So let's uh, get right into it and we'll just kind of watch the video here. I was born with gasoline in my veins. A new motorcycle world land speed record. Flat track, drag strip. I think we're in for a hell of a race. They were the first women to cross the country on a motorcycle. The turn one, handlebars grazing the concrete wall. Victory at Road America! It's just fuel to the fire. Over the last 120 years, millions of people from around the world have shared the experience of riding a Harley Davidson. They've gone flat out on board tracks and battled in world wars. They've ridden through the Black Hills and onto the silver screen. And in the spirit of freedom, they've traveled across the great wide open and adventured to the most remote corners of the earth. And if you ask any one of them to explain the feeling of riding a Harley, they'll do their best to express it in words. And, of course, they will fall short. But if you look closely, you'll see it in their eyes. That visceral feeling, the intoxicating sound. These machines from throughout our history do much more than take you places. They awaken something inside of us, something indescribable, a departure from the mundane, the stuff of memories. 120 years of speed, of power, of pure emotion. 120 years of Harley Davidson. Today marks the beginning of a year-long celebration of Harley Davidson's 120th anniversary. A milestone year for the motor company and a true testament to the loyalty and passion shared by you, our Harley Davidson community, all around the world. It's going to be an unforgettable year celebrating our history and our culture and it all starts now. Sea of red. Yeah. Holy this is Toledo. Look at these colors. Beautiful. Gentlemen. Hey, Brad. Galen, how you doing? Good. How are you? Lance, how you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Good to see you. Yes. What have you got here? This is the 120th anniversary lineup from Harley Davidson. It looks like a 120th lineup. It's beautiful. You're the first ones really setting eyes on them. We wanted to show them to, you know, two passionate enthusiasts first. As you know, Harley Davidson has a real rich history celebrating our anniversaries and riding with our community, to make it so rich and so special to us. And that's a real privilege to be standing here. You guys create this awesome art, and I love riding art. Well, you guys want to look at some art? Let's uh, look let's at some look of these. At it. I mean, what color yeah. we got going on here? This is heirloom red. It's a special color. That so I paused the video here just to comment back on. So when the president was kind of talking about uh, the different bikes and was showing all the different bikes in the background and everything, I saw the old style Sportster. Unfortunately, I think Harley Davidson has stopped making the old style Sportster with like the one and a half gallon tank. Uh, it is an icon for Harley Davidson, but they are stopping to make it because they got their Revolution Max engine that they just came out with, and they're trying to really design a uh, high-end performance kind of sport bike Th not high-end but like something that a customer can afford but also get into riding but also stick with the Harley brand um, so yeah I just wanted to comment on that also I love these red color colors and everything is very gorgeous so uh, 
yeah, let's continue to keep watching and see what else that they have offered. It's very nice gold stitching and everything. I, I really like it. Let's go. That we created just for the anniversary. If you guys get in there and look, it's a very fine flake, which makes it feel really, really rich and really special. I know with the anniversary bikes, there's this badge of moniker, and you've got the badge on this one as well. That's right. So since 54, that was really, it was the first anniversary badge. We had this really beautiful brass, chunky anniversary badge on the front fender of those models. But we've integrated, of course, an eagle into this beautiful diamond pattern that came from some of our Art Deco bikes in the late 20s. You've incorporated every color in fine detail from the thread on the seat, which matches the pinstripes and the gold. You're right, so we have this beautiful oxblood finish in the seat with contrast stitching. Consoles have the gold-plated Harley-Davidson logo and the serialization of each model. And then the whole thing ties together to some of the powertrain details. The tradition is captured in this yeah. new vibe. So which one would you guys take home? We might have to fight over this one. Okay. Although, well, we'll make more uh, than I'm one. gonna hold that <laughs> comment until we see the CVO. I might wanna take that one home. So here it is. Beautiful. Yep. 120th anniversary Road Glide Limited. Wow. 1500 are made. There are all kinds Over of Easter eggs in this motorcycle, so that means as you can see. This is going to be far and few between Love seeing the wings we back here on the saddlebag. I mean, it's just CBOs. I wonder if that's going to be the same the thing for all these. Yeah, uh, it looks red, black. Or the red but you guys see there's some red in that black, right? Are we so this is called anniversary black. It looks are black, but when you get it outside, there's a the market, really deep you know red saying? highlight that Someone will be caught in all the features of the body panels and so on. Definitely like to look at the beauty, the components, the paint, and everything. But one of the real important things for me, that's a given. If my hat fits, there you go. I'm on it, I'm gone. So we talked about the exclusivity of this model, but just keep in mind that there are more CVOs also coming this year. Awesome, that's great to hear. We also celebrate the anniversary throughout our product line, and that includes apparel as well, so. Can't wait to see it. Well, thanks for having us. And Galen, thank you so much for coming to Milwaukee. Lance, see you guys out on the road? Yes, you that. will. All right, take care. Wow, so <clears throat> with that, in mind with all the different colors and everything that they're offering this year um not different colors but with these bikes with the 100, 120th anniversary the the trim i mean they really took their time and detail with having the the big the big logo with the flying eagle and the the gold and red kind of incorporated in that and then that incorporates into the leather with the ox blood uh, leather mixed with gold stitching and everything. It looks very, very nice for a 120th anniversary edition. Um, like I said, hopefully they have more than uh, just 1,500. Otherwise, the market's going to be very far and few in between of what we see for uh, anniversary bikes. We'll see plenty of uh, all the other ones, but will we see enough? I see. I already checked out the color palette. It looks pretty, a lot of different colors, so hopefully we see more anniversary bikes than just 1500. Uh, let's go ahead and check out their apparel. The apparel looks pretty awesome as well for this year. I love this. Oh, so Becky found one of the, <laughs> one of the, one of my favorite pieces from the anniversary collection. This is one of your favorites? That's one of my favorites. We wanted to ensure that what we're creating really complements the motorcycle. We were inspired by the color scheme of the motorcycle, really celebrating this beautiful red color, referencing the logo, which is a really beautiful speed bird. And we put that into really iconic Harley Davidson apparel products, our leather jackets, our bomber jackets. The little pieces of vintage that I'm seeing right here. That hardware is from the original Cycle Queen. There's not that many options out there where it's a product that you feel comfortable in and also feel safe in. I'm starting to see these ones that have this shape where I'm like, this is for a girl? Like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> like, finally! <laughs> you know, so this is, makes me excited. I like this jacket a lot. I just want this in my closet. Oh, oh it's comfortable, feels long and roomy. Damn, I feel rich. <laughs> we also took the iconic logo. Not taking it off. You can, you can keep it off. <laughs> this is like a really pretty white. We took our three-quarter shell and did a riff on the wings of the Speedbird. Okay. And incorporated into the logo. We also really made iconic items like how we, they we have uh, incorporate for her this like, 120 symbol for everything. Love we that. do the same for but him. 
the hundred so kind of pieces like, you know our fans really even on the buttons yeah. and zippers this and leather stuff. jacket is really special it's, it's using the soft everywhere. leather you've got the knit trim awesome. logo yeah every piece has one of these hardware on it every piece has this special shirts t-shirts mechanic shirts makes awesome. it really collectible Becky, it's been my pleasure to get to take you through the 120th anniversary collection and celebrate riders like yourself and your journey with the brand. I just love watching what Harley does next, so this is awesome. Harley-Davidson has actually been in the trike game for a long time. They're well ingrained in motorcycle culture today. I remember as a kid, I watched my grandfather and my uncle Al put a trike together. And I believe it was from like the 40s or the 50s, but it was like a postman trike that they used to deliver mail on. And they customized it and it had white paint job with a black pinstripe, 21 inch spoke wheel on the front, Dayton's on the back. Looking at trikes today, man, they came a long way. What do you think? Ready to roll. <laughs> We've been making the freewheeler for a few I think, uh, pause here real quick just to comment. I see freewheeler has came out with like the kind of black blacked out edition with the, like, their engine, pipes, wheels. Really nice, really off sense, the white. And then the Rogue Glide 3 being just released, very smooth and everything, very nice. Let's continue to watch here. I'll still A talk. few years, but this is the first time we've applied the dark custom trim treatment. Let's take a look at the Road Glide 3. Wow, that Road, Road Glide 3 is, is amazing. a legendary part Very of the slick, motorcycle smooth, history here at Harley Davidson. Solid, but uh, we've never on seen it. it before on three wheels. Solid fairing on it and everything, but like no. For some we're like, looking for the music. Back the piece like the Ultra Trike, you know, it's you don't have to worry about extra luggage and stuff. It's just smooth ride bike. and so performance behind to it too. It's really day. nice. It felt amazing just to feel the power that it has. I even think I popped a little willy. <laughs> I can't wait to see how people customize them. I'm gonna just use this as my canvas. The first time I rode Nightster, I was just blown away by lifting it off now, the side stand. Apparently, it felt Nightster from is going to be Harley replacing the Sportster on. aspect. Uh, it's got the Revolution Max engine in it. One thing about cool. Nightster that's so more exciting power, is, more of course, torque. the heart of the motorcycle, um, which is the new Maybe Rev bigger Max 975 would be cool. The thing Maybe just more fuel autonomy, longer distance, and everything. Range. But that and it's really intoxicating to ride it. I know just riding Nightster, after third gear, you expect a little bit less, but there's more, more, more. Yeah, it's exciting when you're more power commuting or the anniversary. You want to hit that back road on the way special home. Edition one it really begs you to test is the where that one next with line the kind is, of retro how fast you can go around that familiar corner. On it. Um, As you can see here with, with the nicer, one, we've actually the started to simplify the bike and really celebrate that in, iconic yeah. Sportster silhouette. I'm loving how stripped down Nightster is. So for the Nightster Special, we've added the five-inch riser, which integrates the four-inch TFT display right into the top clamp, as well as the passenger pillion with the passenger foot pegs, as well as the new split seven spoke wheels. I spent a lot of time wanting to give the Special a big visual impact. When you walk around it or you see it on the road, there's a lot of drama to section of the spokes. It looks fantastic. Sportster is here to stay, and I'm just so proud that I had a, a role in that.
think if you gave the average person a pencil and a piece of paper and asked them to draw a motorcycle, wow. they're probably going to draw you a breakout. That color for the breakout. So it's the I quintessential think the breakout in recent years. Like People didn't like it because of the that chopper look, that tire low slung to the so ground. Big. So we and first saw like breakouts that. in 2013. We've now um, completely reinvented the kind of think about it. You think it's about better than that. We used to have a three and a half uh, gallon tank. Yeah, bigger than a five back, gallon tank. Anyway, and then we put in the 117 the powertrain. Wow. This gives you 101 horsepower, 123 foot pounds of torque. Wow, that's a lot of power. But uh, the electronics so we that have he's going to mention. 240 millimeter rear tire, and then we have this larger uh, front wheel. Control, we have these 26 spoke uh, roulette wheels. The, uh, now, both standing still or moving down the road, these all wheels these look absolutely magnificent, and they really set off. Technologies the bike. are implementing in all the bikes, no matter. Breakout fans are what they huge, look like. huge chrome and it looks fans. Like a so again, it was really important to us that this bike was just covered in chrome. That orange has these wonderful finishes, beautiful, deep, rich paintwork. The soft tail chassis gives an amazing performance with the suspension, so it's much more comfortable. You have traction control and ABS, you have cruise control available, so you have all of the modern conveniences that you want as a rider in 2023 without having to compromise on that classic style that we know our riders love so much. I would say Breakout is loud in all of the good ways. It will attract all of the right kind of attention. When you bring a bike like this into a fuel station or up to a cafe, you're going to have a crowd around you. Jake, welcome. How's Prism Supply? Good. Yeah. Staying busy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, you know, and certainly in your business, how important customization is. Every client has a different vision of what the ultimate Harley Davidson is. Some people want performance, they want greater function, and some people want style, and they want something that's custom. So, super stoked because this year we're Whoa. unveiling packages. It allows us to offer a packages. suite of parts that are packages. specifically tailored to wow. a specific motorcycle. Take the Pan America, for instance. It's an incredible motorcycle right out of the box. Since then, we've continued to refine it while developing new accessories to further enhance the adventure but experience. how experience. much is that going to cost the consumer? Is that it is the ultimate like trucker package. Another bike? So it's basically a kit that allows the Pan America to be transformed into this ultimate adventure bike. So like on this bike, I see the bags. You have some accessory lights here. That's right. Tall windscreen, it's got a quick shifter also installed, but it allows you to shift without the clutch, which I think a lot of adventure riders are gonna love that, right? That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is actually a Street Glide special. The first time I rode one of these bikes, it absolutely spoiled me. And it was almost like, I gotta get off of this because it's too comfortable. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> This has the Empire Collection Package. It's sort of a subtle upgrade, but it really matches the personality of the motorcycle. You have a passenger peg, a rider peg, motor inserts, derby cover. I think well, it feels like yeah. very rigid. The same engineering team that executes the motorcycle actually creates the parts too. You can amp it up and, and kind of turn it up to 11 and do something like this road glide. We threw the whole parts and accessory book at this one. It's a really tasteful design, but it is obviously a fully customized Harley-Davidson. Whoa. Yeah, Rockford Fosgate Audio. So this sound system will blow you right out of the saddle. I mean, it's crazy. Again, we've kind of put every feature on this particular motorcycle, from the wheels to the rotors to the full chrome front end, handlebar, rider triangle, seat, yep, heated and cooled. You can take it as far as you want to take it. We can create your vision. So that's going to be interesting to go on the website and check out these it's packages always and see how much it's really going to cost the consumer. Yeah, it's Thanks really a lot, worth you the bet. price. Or people are just going to go buy aftermarket, Cheers. you know? I often say, you don't know until you know. And anyone who's ridden a Harley Davidson will understand what I mean. And now, after 120 years, it's time to celebrate with us at the Harley-Davidson Anniversary Homecoming event. Milwaukee will shake, with riders rolling in from all over the world as we come together as one Harley-Davidson community. 
Not to mention some very special guests and rock stars putting on a show you won't want to miss. Everyone is invited, so join us July 13 through 16 in Milwaukee. Ride in, bus in, just make sure we see you there. So that's all we have for you today, but there's plenty more to come throughout this special anniversary year. There's Sturgis, Daytona, Budapest, we might even roll out another new bike or two. Our 120th year is going to be our biggest one yet. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. Wow, so uh, pretty amazing stuff that they're releasing the, to celebrate their 120 years. They do have something going on in Milwaukee, it looks like, uh, bands, a big roll, rolling meet, I guess, the biggest meet probably in 120 years for Harley, but uh, the the different paint schemes that they got coming out, the different bikes they are releasing, uh, the power that they're really uh, driving behind and everything, really cool, uh, really like it. Um, Next, we're going to, if in the next video I record, I'm going to go on the website, kind of just kind of poke around to see how much things are going to be costing the consumer, you, the consumer, how much it's going to cost us and what people really think about the bikes and whatnot. So we will continue on with that. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and everything. And if you like this video, like it, comment. What do you think that they're going to do next? Uh, what bikes do you want to see uh, and everything? But, uh, yeah, this was the 120th anniversary video was to, to come and everything. So uh, hopefully you guys will tune into the next one. And I will catch you later and see you in the next video. Ride, su ride, <laughs> ride safe. Ride safe. Stay safe. Ride safe out there. Bye.